Hey, this is Adam at Burns Cadillac Chevrolet. Today we're going to look at an all new 2019 Chevrolet Blazer. I'm going to step aside so you can see the size that this vehicle offers. And you're going to notice that it falls in between the Equinox and the Traverse. Now this vehicle is bigger, but you need to see it in person. So I'm going to try to show you here on video just how much difference there is. We come right here to the front, just like we always have in the past, and point out some new things that I think people should look for. And of course, this grill is similar to what we're used to. You've seen it on several models, but of course, it's a lot more pronounced. The hood line's longer. This front kind of has like this skirt at the very bottom. I think that's kind of neat. Um, so really should come check that out. The headlights are way more streamlined. That's probably the thinnest headlight line I've seen in a very long time. Along with the fog lights and everything in the front, I think the the car looks awesome. Chevrolet continues to put the bow tie hidden in different spots and you'll find it right here in the headlight. Now this particular one has the 18 inch wheels. You can get some upgraded wheels. This particular model did not have it. However, if you see one with it, you're going to absolutely love it. Come around to the side. They streamlined it. Put blazer on the side. If I call it a trailblazer, I'm sorry. It's going to happen. I'm used to saying it, but this is the Chevrolet Blazer. Breakaway mirrors, as always, along with the turn signals in the mirror. Keyless proximity entry is still here. You come around here to the back side and we'll show you what the difference is here. Now we're here at the trunk. And there's some things about this vehicle you're gonna notice that it is broader, so it's bigger than an Equinox, like I said, and it's not the size of a Traverse. So some things that I like about it is the fact it's got the dual exhaust because this particular one is the V6 model. It does have all your sensors for parking and backing up in case you're accident prone. And one thing I think is kind of neat is they hit away the latch, like underneath here, so it's very discreet. And of course, when you hit the button, it pops up just like every other trunk does. And here's where you're going to see the size difference. We'll take a brief break and I'll show you what the inside looks like. Before we get to the back seat to show you the size difference, here's where a major difference is. Back here is an awful lot of space. In an Equinox, if I had to guess at it, it's probably about right here. Traverse is probably a little bit about right here. So without the third row, and with this being bigger than Equinox, you're gonna find a large size difference to be able to haul things around. This one does have a, spy, a spare tire in the back as well. A lot of cars aren't coming with it. I think it's kind of neat that it does. And it has the ability to lay down the seats with one pull of the switch as well on the other side so you can have full flat seating and plenty of cargo volume now let's take a look at the back seat all right now so here's the back seat and there's quite a few things that i like about it i do feel like when i first sat in it that okay it's not that much bigger but once i get inside here you're going to see that it is a good bit of difference but let's talk about the seating the seating has this ribbed diamond textured pattern that really gives you a good soft cushion it also is in the back back here and you have your own headrest. One thing I really, really like is the fact that you can recline the seat a little bit for you to get a little bit of extra lean back, I guess, if you want to say. So you can lean back and rest a little bit. It's got your own cup holders here. And like I said, you can get inside pretty easily and there's actually a pretty good bit of space. I was driving the front seat and you can tell my knees are nowhere near touching. I have plenty of space. I have my own air vent and I have my own USB controls. Now I'm going to come up front and I'm going to show you about the front. Okay, now here is the central controls for this vehicle. And this is what everybody's been asking to see along with the exterior is the interior. And the steering wheel is different than what I'm used to seeing. This is fairly similar to what they've been doing, uh, especially on the new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. So this is going to look fairly similar to folks that are used to seeing it. But I do like it. It does have the leather wrapped steering wheel. It does have all my driver information center here. It's got a nifty looking, I don't know, I don't know what, I guess like a plush dash here with some stitching. Of course, some extra speakers way up top. They finally listened to our gripes and complaints about putting the start button up here as opposed to way down here. We got a model that does it. I don't really like it, but that's going to be awesome right here. The now you're going to notice some things that are similar here throughout this whole instrument cluster. It has its own armrest and glove box right here. You've seen it on the Traverse. It's just a little bit smaller. These controls you found on the Traverse as well. It's the driver select modes along with the rear parking assist. 
this is normal. But one thing I thought was kind of cool is they put in the Chevrolet emblem right there. And one thing most people don't know that on the RS uh, model is going to have the RS symbol there. Here's where some things look even more similar. These controls are for the air control. You saw it on the Camaro. They took it over here because they wanted this vehicle to look sporty, but yet sleek, and I think they hit it on the head. It's got its own USB ports here. I had those in the rear for the passengers, so you will be able to use the same exact ports back there. This is almost similar and identical to what the Camaro has to offer, so all your controls are easily reached. Now your Chevrolet MyLink Center is right here and it's touchscreen. it's really responsive. I went through this in detail. In case you have any more questions, please let me know about that. But it's pretty simple, um, just like anyone you're used to seeing. A few unique items here is it does have an electric glove box. Hit it, it opens up. Cadillac's had it for a little while. I think we finally put it on some Chevrolets. I think that's gonna be awesome. All right, I was gonna show the sunglass holder and stuff up here so the sunglass holder is above here but i can't get the camera to do right so shoot me later we also have the home link system at the very top and all your onstar guys this isn't an in-depth walk around if you have specific questions about this car i please ask you to send me responses ask me i will reply um, so let me know you can find us on youtube find us on any social media and remember to ask for adam